In this video, I will give you seven tips for finding your first web suite job. If you are new here, I'm Julian and I'm the creator of Eat the Blocks. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers get into Web3. In 2017, I was a Web2 developer and I found my first job in Web3. It was the first time I found a full-time job as a software developer, paid $100,000 per year and fully remote. It was a massive upgrade for my career. So I created Eat the Blocks to help other Web2 developers to do the same. And since 2017, we had more than 7 million views on the channel and on our coding school, more than 10,000 developers took our courses. And recently I launched a six month bootcamp for Web3 development. Our content is 100% up to date, comprehensive and well structured. We not only teach you the technical skills, but we also coach you to find your first Web3 job. This is the fastest way to get your first job in crypto. If you want to apply for the next cohort, follow the link down below. All right, so let's get started with the first tip. I saw too many beginners who went straight into Web3 development. That's a big mistake. Web3 is built on top of Web2. A lot of tutorials on Web3 already assume that you know Web2 and employers in Web3 prefer candidates who already have a few years of experience as a software developer. So if you don't already know web development, you will struggle to get into the industry. So learn Web2 first. If you are like most people, when you study something new, you watch some tutorials on YouTube. There is some great content here, but the danger is that you get stuck in tutorial hell. It means you will copy and paste code endlessly without learning much. And it gets worse when you want to apply to jobs. If all you have on your CV is some courses, it's not going to fly high. What you need is a nice portfolio of Web3 projects. It doesn't matter how good you become at Web3 development if nobody knows you can do it. That's why you need to work in public. How can you do that? It's simple. You go to Twitter and you share what you are working on. There are a lot of developers on Twitter and this includes Web3 developers as well. Talk of what you are building, the problems you are facing and how you solve them. Another way to work in public is to create a blog and to share your crypto journey there. Many Web3 developers I found their first offers after contributing to open source projects. If you go that route, make sure to pick a project that you care about. There are two caveats here. First, there is no guarantee. You can work a long time on open source and not be rewarded. And second, contributing to open source is difficult. It's not always easy to get some guidance from other contributors. This is why I don't recommend this to beginners. You know the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, for something as technical as Web3 development, it's actually both of them. If you just have the knowledge and not a good network, it's not impossible to find a good job in Web3, it's just that it's going to take more time, so why not make it easier for you? There are three places I would recommend to network. First, Twitter. As I said before, on Twitter you have a lot of developers, including Web3 developers. So start to hang out on Twitter, follow other Web3 developers and participate in a conversation. Another good place to network is Discord. You have a lot of communities for Web3 on Discord. Some of these communities are for Web3 developers, like the Discord of Eat the Blocks. And you also have a lot of Web3 projects that are also on Discord, especially what we call DAOs. DAOs are a special kind of Web3 project that are completely decentralized. And by being a member of a DAO and participating in conversation in a Discord, you can find some freelance gigs or a full-time job. And usually when you get a job like this, you skip the typical recruiters and HR completely. And the last place you can use for networking is Hackathon. I've spoken with several developers that were at a junior level and got their first opportunities through Hackathon. They hadn't even started building yet. And because like the look of their profile, they were invited for an informal chat. And the next thing you know, they're doing gig work and getting paid in ETH. In comparison, in Web2, it's pretty much impossible to do the same thing. My next tip is to learn the Web3 culture. If you ask the average person in the street, they will tell you that people in crypto just want to get rich quickly. This might be true for a part of the investors, but for Web3 developers, it's a bit of a simplification. It's true that the extra money you can make in crypto is attractive, but beyond this, a lot of builders and developers in the space are really into the social project of crypto. Crypto isn't just some random technology. Thanks to decentralization, it has the potential to fundamentally transform our societies and you should learn about what kind of changes we are talking about. 
My last tip is to learn the lingo of Web3. Fungible, non-fungible, semi-fungible, NFT, re-entrancy, forking, DAO. You need to learn all these terms. The more articulate you are, the better you will be at picking up conversation and explaining this to others. You will also sound more knowledgeable in interviews. Learn the terms, learn what they mean and how they fit together. So now you can implement all these tips on your own, but it's going to take you some time. And if you want to go faster, you should get some help. Here on Eat the Blocks, I've been training Web3 developers since 2017. And recently, I launched a six-month bootcamp to help Web2 developers to upgrade to Web3. This is the fastest way to get your first job in crypto. And if you want to apply for the next cohort, follow the link down below. That's it for today. Bye.